Previously on the Sakono Assad channel. I thought that YouTube's ad policy had changed and I wasn't getting enough money for my videos, but it turned out I wasn't earning any in the first place because I need at least 10,000 total views to start earning money and monetizing my videos. And today. Oh my god, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Two days ago, we hit. 10,000 total views. Now, the day after we hit 10,000 views, YouTube brings another ad policy. First, it was making monetization harder due to its stupid rules, and now you can't even get monetized in the first place. Right, so this is annoying for two reasons. Firstly, I was so close to getting monetized. I was, I had 10,000 views and I was thinking, oh, I'll activate monetization in the video. And then it didn't happen. So I've looked at this on Twitter a bit. I've just been searching around and there seem to be two general responses. Firstly, people love the idea. They're like, oh yeah, make it harder for people to get monetized so that people aren't doing YouTube for the money. And you know, the people who quit at that point obviously aren't cut out for YouTube. Like if you need the money to be motivated, you shouldn't be doing YouTube in the first place. Yeah, I get that. That is a fair point. But then again, making money is what motivates us. Like for example, on my old channel, when I did have monetization, I was earning one, two P video, but that one, two P motivated me to keep making more videos. Even if it was that small amount, it was motivating us, oh, do more, do more, so gradually grow. But because they've just gotten rid of that completely, there's none of that left. So now the now the fact that we've got to get a hundred subscribers and four thousand total watch time hours in in a year, which it might not sound like a lot, like four thousand hours in a whole year, yeah, sure, easy. But when you actually like spread it out, that is a lot of videos. All right, guys. So PewDiePie's just recently uploaded his view on the topic, and I think that he summed it up pretty much perfectly here. YouTubers were tweeting about it, having different opinions about it. Controversial. Oh, okay, so Logan Paul filmed a dead body and smaller channels has to suffer. Uh, how does that make any sense? It's always such a mess and it's always so unnecessary. A plus for YouTube for always communicating so well. It's tough as hell to be a YouTuber these days. But the thing is, it's always been hard. Unless you upload regularly and long videos, you are gonna suffer. A lot of people get really pissed because of the 4,000 hours thing and I understand that that's frustrating but people did the math and essentially it comes down to like $4. Uh, back in the day YouTube used to have a manual partnership program. I Trust me, you needed more than a thousand subscribers to get into that. I understand that it's tough as hell to get to a thousand subscribers and I remember that seem, seeing impossible. And so many YouTubers, not just me, but just got royally screwed over by networks. Uh, taking what like half of their revenue and giving what back people don't talk about that but four dollars Oh, no. Yes. It's it's hard as hell to be a small channel I know that but it sure as hell wasn't easier back in the day and it seems just fair to me Even though it might seem harsh I think it's sort of a healthy approach that maybe you shouldn't be earning revenue the very first thing Maybe that should be a goal Maybe you should be incentivized to work on your subscribers and building an audience first instead of earning revenue first. So yeah, I do partially agree with what you're saying, but of course, from my point of view, earning revenue is one step towards motivation and actually growing on YouTube. So we we'll do differ there, but it's PewDiePie, so. All right guys, so I was just looking at my analytics really quickly and over the past year, uh, let's just have a look at how much watch time I've got for the last 365 days. As you can see, I've got 29,993. You might think, whoa, Sukono, that's quite a lot. But, I got 500 total hours of watch time, and I need to multiply that by eight to meet the requirements. The second response that I've found to this is that people hate it, and that's the side that I'm on. I absolutely hate this ads policy change, because firstly, for creators who make short videos really high quality but spread out such as animators and music creators they make two three maybe four minute videos and they can't just produce them constantly like that so they have to give time into it and produce a very well created video as a result now youtube's new ad policy means that it'll take so much longer and you might not even get there and basically all people need to do is just produce 
20 minute long videos every single day and they've basically got monetization. So YouTube implemented this ad policy in the first place to get rid of people stealing videos and publishing them as their own and getting loads of views and getting money from them. I get that. It's a good thought. There was a good thought process behind the ad policy. But this is basically what they've done. Alright YouTube lads, so um, basically we're getting a bit of trash on our website, right? We're getting those useless channels that are like re-uploading content. Hmm. Instead of targeting the larger YouTubers who this is affecting, we should torture the smaller ones. Yes, good idea. That has not to do with what we're trying to do, but yes, take money away from the smaller YouTubers who don't deserve it. Um, didn't that massive YouTuber, uh, Logan Paul, didn't he like totally destroy your reputation? Yeah, but he's a big YouTuber. He's getting us loads of money. He's getting the kids on our side. So uh, let's let's just leave him be. Uh, are you sure about that? I mean, loads of people were really angry about it. Nah, sure. I just like stopped the small creators getting money and we're sorted. That was a thought policy, which is absolutely stupid. As you can see, I've got this double camera angle, which I really like, so, um, thumbs up for the camera angles. Yeah. Basically, that's my opinion on it. I really hate the ad policy because I was so close, I had 10,000. The curveball is that from February 2018, which is pretty much a month away, every channel that has monetization but doesn't meet the requirements yet, such as Darkstar5063 and Claudia Rakaia, the two channels that I reacted to, they're both monetized, but they don't meet the new requirements. They were monetized before you had to get whatever you've got to get now, the thousand subs and 4,000 total watch time. So, in February 2017, they're gonna get their total AdSense they got, and then monetization is gonna be stripped away from them until they meet the new requirements, which is really bad, I think, Every channel that's got monetization but doesn't meet the new requirements has to be manually checked by an actual YouTube worker instead of just being automatically declined by a machine to see are they fit for monetization. If they are, why are we taking it away? That's, that's what's getting us here because they've decided to make it harder for us to get money from videos, you have to get a thousand subs instead of 10,000 total views. Because 10,000 total views is easy, you only need a hundred or few subs. But the subscribers mean that people actively want to watch your videos and content, which YouTube thinks is a good idea to get rid of the fakers, but in actuality, you could just buy fake subscribers and, and just get money, just, just buy fake subscribers. You know, there's ways around it. YouTube is never going to be able to fully solve all of its problems. They're just going to have to grit their teeth and say, right, we've got some people on YouTube that we don't want, but let's value the people that we do want and make it easier for them instead of getting rid of all the monetization, which is what they're currently doing. Because they're trying to target everyone to try and find the people who are causing it. But I think they should target everyone who's causing it by manually reviewing the videos before they get taken down for monetization. And that is basically what this rant is about, YouTube's new ad policy. Again, switching angles. I am I am on it today. Pretty much all I wanted to say was YouTube's new ad policy that um, you need to get a thousand subscribers, which for me, I mean, I've got 146. So a thousand subscribers, gonna gonna take a little while longer. Might, might have to hold off that Lamborghini I'm planning to get with all my YouTube AdSense, you know, my YouTube money, all that, yeah and 4,000 hours total watch time within a year, which as I said, is actually a lot. And it's going to screw over lots of small music producers and animators, so they're dead. It's also going to screw over loads of small YouTubers who produce quality content at regular intervals, but aren't getting noticed. It's gonna screw over them, just like me. I'm one of those, except my content isn't, isn't that great. The only question I have left is YouTube, what the hell are you doing? Obviously the big YouTubers are all for it. Oh yeah, we've still got our monetization, we don't get affected. Yeah, get rid of the fakers, get rid of the fakers. But no, not only are you getting rid of the fakers who can just recover from like getting fake subs, but you're also affecting the small YouTubers like us. So YouTube, a message to you. I know that you're not gonna see this because uh, you're just gonna have a machine do it for you, but um, sort yourselves out, mate. Just, just sort yourselves out. Introduce an ad policy that doesn't affect the small hardworking content creators and instead somehow create an algorithm that matches video content to the original creators and then removes that video because that is a way better solution. But everyone's been saying this, why doesn't YouTube target people like Logan Paul who are actually ruining their reputation rather than people who aren't really getting noticed? 
Then again, YouTube just says, Logan's making us money. We're not going to get rid of him. He's, he's making him a rich fan. So yeah, that is basically what YouTube is doing and it's ridiculous and I think it needs to change. So YouTube, sort out your ad policy and that's basically the video. Time's gone really quickly in 2018. It's it's already over halfway through January already. Like almost yesterday it felt like New Year's. 